This special episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by religion. Please don't try to push your own views onto anybody else. We're also being sponsored by the word prerogative. I'm going to do what I want to do and you do what you want to do. Let's just do us and not worry about each other. Come on, you're not that girl. Girl, by bitch, please. Girl, by bitch, please. You think you bad. Let's keep it real. That song is one of the many parodies that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. Before we even begin, I have a question for the petty audience. Have you meditated today? Have you taken care of yourself today? Have you taken a shit today? Do something for yourself before you even do something for somebody else. I'm Coella DeVille from Disney's self-entitled movie, Coella. Let's get this podcast underway, bitches. I have to agree. Do for your damn self. And also, haters mean that you're doing something right. I'm Ursula, and no, I don't have a self-entitled movie yet, but I will be in Disney's live production of The Little Mermaid coming soon. I don't have time to worry about another bitch, and as far as haters go, they don't live in my season matrix. I'm Medusa from... I don't have a self-entitled movie, but I know y'all want one. (laughs) It's funny how a lot of musky mole rats just live in a delusion of grandeur. I'm Yisma from Disney's self-entitled... Well, I don't have a self-entitled movie either. Well, that's going to be coming soon because Coella and Maleficent can't be the only ones out here. Oh, a lot of y'all want to have self-entitled movies, but at the end of the day, can you carry a self-entitled movie? Can you fill the seats in a movie theater? Can you get the streams up? It ain't about just having a self-entitled movie. It's about can you bring in the income that Disney will spend on the self-entitled movie? And I have to say this, I'm gonna be honest with all of y'all sitting here, majority of you cannot. That is why you are a secondary character. That is why you are um, a villain. Sorry, not sorry. (laughs) everybody is a superhero in their own storyline and honestly Coella your self-entitled movie was not even all that which one I have two versions that's how important I am to this entity two different versions you don't even have one bitch sorry I'm late but I have to agree with Coella if you don't have even one self-entitled movie you can't have an opinion about our self-entitled movies I'm Maleficent from the self-entitled movie movie maleficent all i'ma say is what comes up must come down and we will what rise again i'm okay with falling because you know what i know i can always get back up one thing about melanated black and brown fairies is that we've always been resistant so um go ahead and let me fall i'm always going to be able to get back up and get back to where i need to be Every mountain is something I can climb to the top to reach. Anyway, did y'all hear that Zeus is closing Mount Olympus because apparently it's under construction? Well, the tea on the street is, is that Aphrodite has another baby on the way. Not Aphrodite. I thought she stopped messing with Zeus when she found out he couldn't be faithful. Zeus ain't even taking care of the children that he has on Earth or in fairytale land. Hercules is out here just being a mess all over fairytale land. Speaking of Hercules, tea on the street is, is that he was spotted at Bella Noches with Scar and Jafar. Um, Scar can speak for his damn self and at the end of the day, Yisma, what we not finna do is talk about Scar when Scar is not present. But you know, Scar, crusty crustaceans that don't have a life have to be consumed by everybody else's. Listen here, you sour skittles. I'm on the Queen of the Ratchet podcast and I have a job to do. That's what I do. I report the fairy tale news. Oh, Not trying to be rude, but we did not invite all these guests onto the podcast i will say that it's getting a little rank in here if you open your heart and close your legs maybe you wouldn't be smelling so much if you open your heart to new possibilities and close your legs you wouldn't be smelling all that toxicity oh let's take a break i pay these hoes no care 
That song is one of the many parodies that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. And we're back, but not for too long. We just wanted to check in with the petty audience and let them know that we are still here. Queer, straight, black, white, And, you know, all colors of the universe. Oh, so you whores decided to have a get-together and not invite me to it. We were trying to keep the energy peaceful, positive, and polite. And um, since you're none of those things, you didn't get an invitation. That's fine, because I let myself in. I'm Tremaine from Disney Cinderella. And I do deserve my own self-entitled movie. Girl, you're a one-trick pony in a rundown strip club. Tremaine ain't nothing but a Magic City reject. What the hell is Magic City? A magical place where Amazonic beautiful women get to their damn bags. All I'ma say is if you come to the fairytale land of Hotlanta, you should definitely take a trip to the Magic City. (laughs) <laughs> you will enjoy yourself thoroughly. It don't matter if you're white, black, gay, straight. Everybody goes to the Magic City. It's an experience. I did try to audition for Magic City back in the day, but it was because my chakras weren't in line that I didn't get the job. Girl, you got turned down because you got saggy potato sacks. Not saggy potato sacks. You know what, y'all? I miss this Caucasian soap opera. What happened to us just getting together, shooting the shit, being petty, and spreading love? I mean, I think we're really needed in this universe. We make people laugh. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get back to fairytale land. But before we do, does anybody want to leave the petty audience with some words of wisdom? Don't nobody know shit about what's going on. So don't listen to anybody but your damn self. Eat what you want and that includes ass. Scar, I thought we said we were doing PG-13. Girl, them kids better go somewhere and go watch Disney+. Plus. Here's mine. Get up and exercise for at least 20 minutes a day. Walk. Do something. Stop living with all that anger. Oh, if you're white, get a black friend. If you're black, get a white friend. If you're gay, get a straight friend. If you're straight, get a gay friend. If you're bisexual, hell, get both of them. Let's stop boxing everybody into one thing. Here's mine. Get back to doing you. Stop worrying about the outside world. Let the outside world exist and do what it's going to do. The bills are still going to come. The people are still going to be in your life that are haters. But at the end of the day, you get back to your happy. Be happy for no reason. And with that being said, make sure that you're following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time.